that's the bakery cafe right there. That's where I pulled espresso and bus tables. The footage that you saw of the temple of the dog playing live, I think some of that's from in there, opening up for Alice in Chains. Pearl Jam played their even flow video, I guess, was from that venue. I think that is the Mother Love Bone Wall. It was. It's been changed now. That's the raison d'etre over that way. That's where Jeff worked. So Jeff pulled espresso in there. We'd get there at four in the morning, five in the morning or something, some insane thing. He was always working. And been getting off maybe at three in the afternoon, exhausted. I think our relationship's always been loaded. It's always been, it's always had its dynamic tension. Uh, but now we really understand the tension a lot better and we actually make it work for us. And uh, we just don't take anything too personal anymore, you know? It's like if one of us feels strongly one way or one of us feels strongly the other, it's, that's okay. And it'll all get worked out. You just learn to go with the back and forth and trust that. I mean, at this point, how can we not trust it, you know? Cyclops Cafe, right there, had lots and lots of meals together when we rehearsed for the making of 10. How early on did you feel the sense of community? Uh, around the time of Deep Six, probably. I mean, that's when sort of, I think Chris Hanzik sort of identifying that he wanted to do a compilation I mean, we'd kind of, there was parties and stuff, and we'd see each other at shows and stuff, but I don't, I think once there was a decision made that yes, making a compilation record would be cool, and actually having all of our songs from a bunch of different bands on one record, I, I think that resonated with everybody, and I think it sort of set the stage in a way for, for us to kind of think about ourselves as being part of a bigger thing. Personally, I think that Jeff's fantastic songwriter, and I'm just, I'm excited about the material that he is bringing to the band, and I just want him to be as much of an artist as he can be in this band, and I want him to encourage me to do the same, you know, and in the end, hopefully the best of our individual art will sort of make an appearance, and it doesn't need to make a huge appearance, it just needs to make an appearance on our records and then mix that in you know and then mix that in with the variety of how Ed hears it and how he writes and how Mike writes and how Matt writes and all of a sudden you have a you have a mix that you can't it's, it's, it's that's, an, that's a mix that's hard to rip off because it's not any one particular style that makes it do its thing it's this everyone has their own Groove. Everyone has their own sense of arrangement, their own sense of what moves them. And if you keep combining it and keep going through the process of making projects together, records or whatever it is, you, it just, it's just a more complex mix. He's been playing here since before Mother Love Bone. Look at all the people. 